Welcome to IDB, everybody. It is Andrew here, as always, at CES 2018. We are going hands-on with the new Hive View Smart Camera. This tiny little compact camera, first off, it looks pretty awesome. Designed by Yves Bihar, similar to the other products that he's designed, including drives for Seagate and Lassier, the Jawbone Up Bands, and even the August Smart Lock. It has this interesting design where the camera itself is easily rotatable up and down, and it can even come apart. So you can just go ahead and grab the top, take it with you, it's charged up and it's included battery. And then when you're done, so you wanna monitor somewhere, you know, for temporarily, bring it back and connect it right back onto the base. A really great design for a camera that looks totally different than other ones we've seen out there. It actually tries to look good and not just like a traditional camera that we see all the time. I know there are all these different colors going on around the room, but it comes in two different color variations, basically a darker one and a lighter one, and you can just see which one fits more into your home. It's got a lot of the smarts that you'd come to expect in a smart camera, being able to detect different types of motion between people and pets, streaming in 720 or 1080p, and it even has sound detection so it can let you know if it hears a loud crash or noise in the room while you're gone. You'll get one day of video storage or more if you opt for their $4.99, I believe, monthly subscription fee. This joins the other Hive product, which is their smart thermostat, also designed by Hive Bear, and it looks pretty different from other smart thermostats we've seen out there on the market. Definitely taking more of a subtle approach, it's got capacitive buttons and a screen that lights up as you approach it. If you want to check out either of these, there's links below in the description and they should be launching in the US very soon. Let us know what you think in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, it's Andrew for IDB.